happy to welcome here in the studio the sheriff of Shasta County, Sheriff Basenko. Thank you, Sheriff, for coming in. You bet. Appreciate Pleasure, it. Pleasure, Dan. I've never seen a situation where criminals are being released within an hour after being caught red-handed. And, you know, you had the guy Sunday night who, according to the Reading paper, violently resisted arrest. And then an hour later, he's like, okay, you can go now. How frustrating it must have been for the Reading police officer who had to sub- subdue the guy, put him in cuffs, bring him to jail. It's frustrating for everyone. I'm sure it is. But- uh, my staff, too. They have classification officers that their job is to, hey, who gets out? Right. Who goes upstairs? And who do we keep and, and who do we not? The, 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 guy, the guy who was arrested uh, Sunday night, Mr. White, who had already, you know, he had a criminal history, even involving armed robbery. And, you know, he was a criminal. He was a career criminal. He violently resisted arrest. Mm-hmm. It, he was brought to county jail. Uh, your spokesperson said that you had some 15 to 17 people that still needed to be booked in that night, even though in he addition was, to him. Yeah, he was brought in at one in the morning. Yes. So of these 15 to 17 people, what did they do that would make your, your people think that they were more of a threat to public safety than this guy who just violently resisted he arrest. Resisted arrest. They look at it as being a property crime, a theft. And, but yes, and resisting arrest is generally a misdemeanor crime, not a felony, even though he. So these ran 17 away. were felons, the ones who were. Who, they, I don't have the breakdown of every one of them. What is the person brought in on? Is it a crime of violence or is it a property crime? Is it, um, so property crimes get a pass, basically. They don't get a complete pass, but they also look at the circumstances or well, the person has two houses. What did? But and they looked at pass. it, and for that person, they ended up deciding, "Hey, we don't have room for him, but the other ones are more serious." <laughs> On average, we have about eight beds available in the jail at any given time to put people in. So these seven- we receive about. 20 to 60 bookings per day to and trying to figure out 20 to 60 on a 24 hour period a day a day so now if i only have eight beds where do i put the 20 so to 60 people so you're releasing anywhere from uh, it'd be 12 to 52 people a day. per day generally if one person comes in Somehow we have to figure out for one person to get out. So how could you have 17 people at one in the morning? Uh, they were probably left over from day shift, not so getting booked. And they in, in the lobby or? No, they're in holding cells, holding waiting cells. to be booked. And so those end up, do we keep them and send them upstairs or do we release them and what are their crimes? Cause they're always trying to play catch up in the jail with bookings coming in. If this guy, Mr. White, had not been injured, the second time he was arrested. You know, he, he broke into the two houses. He was arrested, released immediately. He gets booked and and released. Yes. And then he goes out and commits a couple more crimes. Right. He, he comes w- back because of an injury. Right. A dog bite. Right. And resisting. He is already he gets evaluated at the hospital because of that as well. Yes. And then gets booked. So is he in jail now? I he should be. He should be. Cuz I I'd have to call but I can call and make, you know, next break we can call and check on that and see. Because my question would have been, if he had not been bitten by that dog. Uh, that really wouldn't have made a difference, dog bite or no dog bite. He would have been kept the second time. Not necessarily. It so depends we, on who's in custody and what the violent so crimes are looking at. See, this guy breaks into house one, house two, violently resists. That's the frustration we're having. Vi- let, me, let me finish my point here. Violently resists arrest, taken down to jail, booked, released within an hour, Goes down to a house a couple blocks down, kicks in the door, goes to the house next door to it, breaks into that. Finally, he's arrested again. And you're telling me he could have still been released again after four it's houses? possible. Yes. And that's our frustration that we have. Is this there is simply not enough room. Is there any reason to believe he would not have gone to the fifth house and, and broken into it? It certainly would have been possible. How many houses would he have had to have broken into until he would have been held? Is it like a quota? Is it like 30 no. houses? Is it? No, let's, let's be real. Of course, there's no, well, no f- quota. We're at four now. We're at resisting arrest plus four houses. Mm-hmm. And he could have been released again. Possibility. Because there Sheriff. should be more people 
that are a higher priority to keep in due to their crimes of violence. 